the believers, the people that actually trade this stuff, hold this stuff? Is there a shift in sentiment as a result of the drop that we are seeing? Presumably, a lot of people are being shaken out by this. Right. There's a bloodbath, there's a washout, but I think you'll see a lot of tourist capital, if it hasn't already left, it will be leaving now. Right. Um, but Bitcoin has an ideological component to it that most traditional asset classes don't, i.e. there are these true believers, the hodlers, and those guys by very nature are looking to hold for the long term and maybe even see now as an opportunity to even top up their holdings. Alistair, what's driving the move? Is it fear of regulation? Is it something else? What happened in the last two weeks or so that all of a sudden moved sentiment a lot more negative? Right, well, we're coming off the back of a couple of weeks of actually relative calm, which is somewhat unusual for Bitcoin. It was sort of trading around $6,000 for a couple of weeks. And then all of a sudden, it's totally fallen out of bed and it just can't seem to get up on its feet again. And what's triggered that really is a couple of things. Yes, regulation. In the US, we've seen the SEC come out and kind of have some civil action against two ICO companies saying that the tokens that they raise should be classified as securities, which kind of sounds like an arcane thing, but really it suggests that perhaps um, cryptocurrencies should be regulated on, under the same stringent requirements that you have for traditional assets like stocks and bonds. And then also our colleagues this week in the US were reporting that the Justice Department is looking into market manipulation around crypto. So these are kind of uh, big black clouds over the market. That plus you've had the um, bickering and infighting over Bitcoin Cash, which is one of the largest cryptocurrencies, which recently had a fork. And that's kind of rather, I guess, embarrassing, left a sour taste in the mouth. It just highlighted once again how immature this market is. One of the factors that made it slow. So it has been a tough week. Uh, I'm happy to say that I actually bought the dip. I had an order for Bitcoin at 3500 and it did execute on my Gemini exchange. So Bitcoin has gone as low as 3,500. Um, I uh, made a decision actually when it went to 4,000 to sell some of my Bitcoin uh, to just continue to have buy orders to buy the dip. I'm not putting in too much more capital in. Uh, I'm, I'm down over $10,000 in crypto, but I am selling. I did sell some of my crypto around the four or 5,000 level to uh, hopefully just buy back in at, like I said, I started putting in orders under 4,000 and I trickled all the way down to 2,000. So I'll continue to buy this dip. Um, and like I said, I see myself as a long-term holder. Uh, and like I said, they were saying that, you know, the, the people that won't sell are the ones that really believe in it. And I guess for me, my belief in crypto is, you know, I own a lot of assets that the government has control over. Uh, you know, this, my stocks, my real estate, uh, my bonds, these are all assets, I mean, that can be liquidated pretty quickly with the stocks, but not really the real estate. And like I said, it has to be cleared through the government. And if for whatever reason the government wants to seize my assets, it's, it's, it's theirs to take. Where crypto, I won't have this issue. And obviously you can do the same thing with gold, but then you have to deal with storage and being able to move the gold around and traveling with the gold. So this is why I will continue to invest in Bitcoin. And if Bitcoin falls, I will go to the next currency, crypto digital code, a currency uh, that people believe in. And I will at least store five to 10% of my net worth in that uh, a commodity just, you know, as a hedge, if for whatever reason I have to uh, pack up and leave and all my assets are gone, the only asset I, you know, I may have standing in, in, in uh, times of uh, chaos might be my crypto assets. But let me know what you guys think about this and I will talk to you soon.